What do you think of them? Huh? Ah! What do you think, Oliver? Good or bad? Good! This is an authentic Volk TE37RT. I've had these in storage for a while, and today they're going on the black Subaru. We got some brand new tires. These are some meaty boys. They are 265, 35, 18, Falcon, Azenus, RT, 615K plus. Brand new, just mounted and balanced. I might rinse them off real quick, but I really want to get them on the Subaru. We're going to get rid of the old XXR wheels and Michelin Pilot Super Sports I've had on them for a long time. The tires are about 10 years old. They're in great shape, but I don't trust them. So let's get these things on. 18 by 10, 44 offset is a little too high. We'd like a lower offset, so we're gonna have to run some spacers, um, to at least to clear the coilovers. I have a few different ones to try. The RTs, they're supposed to be like the next rendition of the TE37. Volk TE37s are probably the quintessential JDM tuner wheel that has been around for I don't know, maybe a couple decades when I was younger. My friends had them. I could never afford them. I always wanted them and lusted after them, but never got them until today. The RTs are a little different. They have, I don't know, different sculpting here and the hub barrels and thicknesses and the spokes. I guess they're about, these ones are supposed to be like six or eight percent stronger, I believe, than the original Volks. I don't know. They're beautiful. I was trying to get rid of red. I know, I'm trying to get rid of all the red on the car, but we still have interior that's red. Red stuff under the engine bay. So, I guess I'm gonna embrace the red for now. <music> Tires look good. I wanted to get the other ones that are actually over here on these wheels, but they didn't have them. They were super back ordered for months. And those are the RT660. So at least I got RT660s on that set and RT615K plus on the black car measuring 265, 35, 18. These are a little more track oriented. They're both a 200 tread wear count tire. These last a little bit longer from all my reviews and research I've been doing. These will not last as long, but they're a little more sticky. These cars only get maybe a thousand miles or so a year on the tire, so I'm not too worried about um, tread wear and how long they last. I think they're both going to last me a long time, and I wanted to see what the difference of tires were. If I like these better, or if I like those better. I guess I need to slow down. The jack wasn't down all the way. I pulled it out and ripped off my side skirt. Looks like just a couple of clips. Eh, I gotta be careful. These things, you can't even, they don't even make them anymore. And this one's in like excellent condition. Slow down, take your time, relax. These are wheel spacers. There is some controversy towards them, so I'm not gonna get into that now, but this is a real thin little five millimeter one, and I believe this is a 15 mil. I like this because it still has that hub-centric ring on there, so it's gonna mount perfectly to the hub that's already here. And then I'm gonna have to buy some uh, plastic spacers because this isn't the perfect diameter for the Volk wheels. And these are the little hub-centric plastic rings that I always run on my cars. So you get the diameter that matches your car perfectly, like this. And then you get the outer diameter that matches your wheel. So make sure everything's hub-centric. I don't think I'm gonna need both of these. I don't like the idea of stacking them, but it would give me 20 millimeters offset and, or plus an additional 20 millimeters less of offset. I don't think I need the space because it's barely hitting the coilover now. These will probably clear, but I do like to fill out the fender flares, of course, because, you know, wide body, wannabe but I think this is gonna suit us just fine for now. 15 millimeters, I do have the ARP extended studs, so we're gonna have plenty of engagement here um, to be safe, I feel safe. Dun, 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 dun. 
I know I'm taking so long, but what do you think? Short black ones, long black ones, or chrome OE ones? Uh, I don't know. I don't like these on the white Impreza right now. That's what this came off of. These are really short. They look kind of funny with extended lugs and they have the spline drive. So anytime you need this uh, socket and spline drive socket, you can never find it. So let's try both long and short with the spacers on there. Short spline drive on the left, long extended lug nut on the right. I don't really like that look. If there was no spacer on there and you could see some of the lug bolt coming through, the stud coming through here, I think it would be okay. But I just don't like this big, long, extended, hollow thing. So we're running these for now. What do you think of them? Huh? Ah! What do you think, Oliver? Good or bad? Good! Thumbs up? What color are they? Black. Black cars? Black. What color are the wheels? Black. Red. We gotta fit some different spacers on there though. No. Give us some more clearance. You can't forget to tighten the wheels. This is a lug wrench. Oh, it's actually an extension, yeah. We have to make sure they're snug before we put the car down on the ground. Does that make sense? Then once it's on the ground, we'll tighten it even more. Down goes the car. Get that big old break in there. The detail on these is excellent, just beautiful. Volk racing here is engraved into the wheel. This lip all the way around is also engraved or machined into the wheel. We have Volk racing, monoblock, forged. Nothing really made in Japan. And of course, Ray's engineering. I've never had a set of wheels like this, so I'm kind of in awe about the quality and how it looks. I think I'm kind of in love. Might lift up the back a little bit or adjust the ride height. Have to get it outside and see what it looks like. Eighteen inch wheels on this car do make it look like it sits a little high, but with such big flares, unfortunately, I don't really have a choice. The flares are just really big holes to fill. I wish they were bronze or gold, but the red kind of pops. It's gonna give it more attention that I don't really want. It's kind of dirty right now, it needs to be cleaned up. But at least we know what the wheels are gonna look like on there, huh? Do you approve this message? Five on 100, 18 by 10, 265, 35, 18. It's not really poking much. I love that the tires are actually covering the rims. They're not stretched at all. They have a little lip on the tire that gives it kind of like a, an effect that it's stretched. It's kind of hard to see, but the, the sidewall kind of bows out just to protect the lip of the wheel, which is great. Backs are pretty close to the Fender flare fronts are still pretty meaty. Gonna throw lots of rocks up the car. Have to maybe consider some mud flaps, but it's been ran for so long without them that it's kind of a lost cause at this point. This is with 15 mil spacers on it. Do you see that clearance there on the coilover? That rim is about quarter of an inch or less from hitting. Um, upper part of the coilover is good, but this threaded body right here is very tight. 
I might drive around the block a little bit and see, but I don't really feel too comfortable with that. I mean, so we might end up having to run a little bit bigger spacer on this. Um, maybe go up to 20. I like, I mean, I would don't mind filling out the flares even more, but I, I don't know if I like the idea of running a 20 millimeter spacer on it. I mean, we do have enough space on the lug nuts to go out another five millimeters. You know, the more I sit back and look at the car with the wheels on it, it just, something's just off. And I have the 20 millimeter total spacers on there, which is the 15 and the five stacked on top of each other just for measurement purposes. I'm not gonna run it like that. But I think I figured out what the problem is. The front tire is actually sticking out quite a bit further than the back tire. Now I know the flares are a little bigger in the back just because that's the way these flares are, but that just doesn't look the same. The front, it's hard to show on camera. There's barely any clearance here. I could barely get my pinky in this fender gap here, which is going to cause some problems. The wheels are straight right now, and look at how much it's exposed. This whole edge is probably going to hit the tire. This car has JDM GD, which is the newer WRX lower control arms on it. And that is where I think the problem is. I ran a tape measure from here to the other side, front and back, and they don't match. There is about almost 0.6 inches. So about a total of about 30 millimeters front to back difference. So the previous owner put these control arms on it and gave it that wide track front end, which is what a lot of people like to go with. But the rear end seems to be stock WRX, which these cars, the STI and 04 did run this setup with the wide track in the front, the narrow in the back, and then in 05 and earlier than up, they went to a more square setup where the track width was the same. So I think what I need to do now is it's late the white car is in here now but i need to if my elementary math is correct this front spacer needs to be 0.5 or 5 millimeters spacer in the front and run a 20 millimeter spacer in the rear that will give me the same track width front and rear Okay, we've had time to play around with the spacers and do a lot of measurements, stacking them, measuring, stacking different ones, measuring more, and I think we got the fitment perfect. We are running five millimeter spacers in the front, 20 millimeter total spacers in the rear, and that gives us almost a perfectly matched track width. Now, I know I can run wider in the front. Maybe I'll do that just to see how it is. It's probably gonna handle like it used to. I'm kind of interested to see what this feels like because I've been running wide track front, narrow track rear for a long time. So the plus 30 millimeters, wider in the front. I'd like to see how this goes. So we're gonna give it a shot. I think we got it all squared away. Literally squared away. Get it? Squared, tires squared, wheels squared, track width. I know, hilarious. And the finishing touch is the raised titanium valve stem caps. I hope they don't get stolen because they're a little pricey.